Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from AmandaCrochets.com. In today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Be Crafty Crochet Hook Set. If you're a beginner crocheter and are not unsure what to purchase, this Be Crafty Crochet Hook Set is perfect to help you get started. I was contacted by a representative from the company and they reached out to me and they asked if I was interested in reviewing this product. In this product. Of course I said yes and I received this set to review however all opinions are my own and you might see some affiliate links in the description box below which doesn't cost you any money but it, I do receive a small commission when um, you purchase something from that link so let's get started with today's review so if we just do a quick overview of the Be Crafty Crochet Hook set you will see that it comes in this zippered pouch which is always nice for keeping everything together and this case features a white polka dot design with a royal blue background and as you can see in the bottom their logo be crafty have fun be happy is featured on the bottom front of the case and the case itself kind of feels like a hard cardboard feel to it, it kind of makes it feel a little bit more sturdy and it's a pretty it's a pretty decent crochet hook case. Um, like I said, it's kind of like a hard, pla uh, hard cardboard, and then of course you have that zipper. Now they do come in one other color, and they come in the same design with the white polka dots. It's just a red background. If I could change one thing about this case, just the case itself, I wish they had more color options and design options. That way I feel like they could appeal to a wider audience instead of just having two different colors. But that's just me. I always like something different. I'm more of a pink person myself. So if they had this in this crochet case in a pink color, then I would probably like the case just a little bit more. So then if we go ahead and open up this, you see all the goodies inside. So right away you see this little information sheet and you get a 20% off coupon for your next purchase on any Be Crafty product. And on the back side they, hit, they have this crochet hook conversion chart which is always helpful in understanding the different US terms, metric terms, as well as the UK terms because I know a lot of people interchange between US terms and UK terms so it's always nice to understand what exactly those hook conversions mean. Now when you look at the crochet hooks themselves you get nine crochet hooks and it starts with a B 2.25 millimeter and it goes all the way up to a J 6.0 millimeter crochet hook. They have the ergonomic coating on them so let me just pull this one out. So this is the ergonomic band which is very nice because it, it allows you to crochet faster and longer with also the crochet hook being a little bit more lightweight when you hold it. And if you ever have an issue with crocheting with the metal hooks, kind of like I do, where your hand cramps up and you get a little bit of carpal tunnel, these hooks are definitely the way to go because like I said they're lightweight and they have that ergonomic comfort grip on them so that's always very nice each of the crochet hooks have a different color handle and it has the size printed on the front so I don't think you can see that let me see if I can focus on that for you so as you can see right here you see the size J 6.0 millimeter but you can also turn it around and you can see the same size on the back which is always nice because sometimes when you're working this because it's printed on it might just you know rub off after a while but then you always have that one printed on the actual handle itself so I thought that was nice these hooks in a way kind of remind me of my favorite Clover Amore hooks because they each have that comfort handle like I said and then each of the hooks come with a different color which is always helpful because the more you use these you can just recognize that oh my 
J crochet hook is the orange and my you know my uh, my eye hook is a, is a the brown color so once you get used to wear to using these a little bit more you kind of understand what hook size is what color handle and as far as the Be Crafty crochet hook set, like I said, they're very comfortable. Comfortable and makes the crocheting makes your crocheting go by very quickly because the hooks are being lightweight, like I keep saying. And when I was crocheting, I made a few blankets with this, and I made a hat with this. These crochet hooks and the yarn seems to glide very easily along the crochet hook, and it doesn't seem to snag. I've used a couple different yarns. I've used Karen Simply Soft. I used a velvet yarn. So with the different yarns, I feel like each of the yarns I used glided over my crochet hook and I didn't really have a problem with that. Now one of the things I did notice about the crochet hooks is that the rubber handles seemed to get dirty at the top. So let me see. I can show you that. So as you can see, at the top it kind of got, I, I don't even know what you want to call it. Maybe you could say it was dirty. Um, I don't know if I could zoom up a little bit more for you guys, just so you can see it. But I just found it to be odd that the, some of the crochet hooks that I used started to turn dirty a little bit. So I'm not exactly sure why that is, but I mean, I, I was kind of just like sitting there and like kind of peeling that away a little bit, but anyway, so that's just a little issue I found with the crochet hooks themselves. Now, if you look at the Be Crafty crochet hook set, it also comes with some great accessories. So the first thing that you see right here is this gauge swatch, which is always very nice and handy. So say you had a you had a metal crochet hook from your grandma or something, because I know I had one from my grandma and it didn't have a size on it. This would have come in handy in order to see exactly what size it is, because you could put your crochet hook in the middle and you can see what size it is. So again. I just grab this J crochet hook and you didn't know you can just put it in the little holes and you can find out you know what size so this would have been perfect for this and this would have been too big obviously this is the biggest one so you would just know okay this is a J six millimeter crochet hook so that's always nice it also you can also see um, your gauge if your gauge matches the pattern by just looking on the sides. So this is in um, centimeters, I believe, and then this side is in inches. So that's always nice to have your gauge with your patterns like that. And then if you look at this middle pouch, which is nice because it actually snaps off. So if you wanted to keep this separate, you can, but if you want to if you wanted to keep this pouch inside with the rest of your items, that's always nice too. But if we go ahead and just look at this, inside you have a bunch of goodies. Okay, so the first thing I noticed is you have these two stitch marker holders. So basically if you have a lot of stitch markers, you can kind of just open this up just like that and then you can put all your stitch markers on top and they kind of stay together so I thought that was kind of cool and then you get some tapestry needles so you get six of them excuse me you get five of them and um, or is it six yeah you get six of them and you get two different sizes so you get this blue one which is a bigger size and then you get the pink which is smaller size I'm not a huge fan of plastic tapestry needles just because I feel like they kind of bend easily and they kind of break after a while. So I'm not a huge fan, but for a beginner, this is just perfect for starting out. And these are the scissors that they come with. 
and it comes in this nice little pouch and I really like them because they're great for traveling if you you know just want to throw your scissors in the bag and I like how they just kind of fold out so I haven't used these too much yet because I was using my other pair so bear with me as I try to open this for you it is a lot easier I just like I said, I'm sure, I'm just unsure how to do it right away. But basically you just kind of, I think you just kind of push them out. Um, well anyway, I'm not going to suffer and try and do this for you on camera. Um, but unless it just kind of pops out like that. Yeah, like I said, I'm not really sure how... It would pop out. I wish it would be easier, but um, for whatever reason, I'm struggling to this morning. So, um, this is just a nice pair of scissors that you can have on hand. You also get some stitch markers, which are is always very nice and handy to have. I know some people tend to lose them a lot, so always having a lot of them on hand is very handy. You also get this row counter, which is always nice because you can always just turn and keep track of all your different rows um, for whatever reason for me unless it's like me trying to open up the pair of scissors I found that I couldn't turn this at all no matter how hard I tried I didn't really want to break it but as you can see I'm trying to turn the dial on each side and it's just not turning so I don't know if I just got a defective one but if it did work it would be very nice and handy to have and um, the other thing about this is usually people can put this on the end of their crochet hook but because you have the elastomere handle you can't really do that with this but you can keep it on Maybe you can thread it through a necklace or something like that and keep it on and have it be easy to count or you can just have it next to you. But like I said, for whatever reason, mine doesn't work. And then finally, you get this um, measuring tape, which is always nice and handy to have. And it's flexible. As you can see on one side, it is um, inches and the other side is centimeters. So... It's always nice to have this on hand in order to measure your work and make sure that your blanket or your scarf or whatever you're making is coming out to be the size that you need it to be. So some of the likes and dislikes is I really like the crochet I really like that the crochet hook set has all the hooks that are color coded and are lightweight and it makes it easier to crochet without my hands cramping up. And I know that if you also struggle with that, it will definitely help with that. Because I feel like I've been able to crochet a lot longer with these crochet hooks, as well as my Clover More crochet hooks, because I have that band on them. Now, if it was just a regular metal crochet hook like I used when I first started to learn how to crochet, um, I, I found that my hands really cramped up a lot, and I really was struggling with that. So, I really prefer having these types of crochet hooks as I feel like they're lightweight and easy on the hands and I like how they have each of the hooks have the size imprinted into the rubber handle because it makes it nice just in case the back side where you have it printed on just like here I like how it has that size printed on the front as well because that always helps I really like the mesh pouch containing all the crochet accessories. My favorite is probably the scissors as you can fold them up, which is always great for traveling, like I said. And as far as what I would change, um, as you know, I, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I would like to have more case options as far as having different colors or a few different designs, as I think it will be nice to choose from besides just, you know, the standard blue and red options. I also didn't really like how the crochet hooks started to get dirty at the top after using them. I'm not sure exactly why this was and I'm not sure if anybody else who purchases this set will have the same issue as I did, but it kind of just makes me wonder if the quality of the crochet hook is lacking a little bit. 
Um, I'm also not a huge fan of the plastic tapestry needles, as I've said. I feel like they can break easily. I prefer the metal crochet, or I'm sorry, I prefer the metal tapestry needles as I feel like it glides easier to weave in your ends and it just doesn't break as easily as a plastic tapestry needle. However, I do like that this set comes with six different tapestry needles in two different sizes because, let's be honest, we've all lost a tapestry needle or two here and there, so always having extras on hand is nice. So if I ever lost my metal crochet, metal tapestry needles, and I needed something in a bind, I would probably gravitate towards these um, plastic tapestry needles. One last thing that I didn't like, as I mentioned, is this row counter. I really wanted to like it, and maybe mine is defective, like I said, but I felt like no matter how hard I tried to twist the ends, the numbers never changed and I was not able to use it at all. If it did work, I feel like it would be really handy when trying to keep track of how many rows I've made in a project. There's definitely been times where I've made blankets and um, I had to manually on a piece of paper keep track of how many rows I've done. So this definitely would have come in handy, but like I said, unless mine was defective or I'm just not, I don't know, my it's just not working for me, like I said. Overall, I feel like this is a great beginner set to have if you're just learning how to crochet. I feel like this hook set comes with all the basic supplies that you need to help get you started on your crochet journey. And with so many options out there, I feel like the Be Crafty Crochet Hook Set is a great beginner staple because you have a variety of different crochet hooks. You have your gauge swatch and all the different accessories that you could ever need as a beginner crocheter. If you're interested in purchasing this Be Crafty Crochet Hook Set, you can purchase this on Amazon for less than $20. You can also pick up some other crochet goodness if you visit their Amazon storefront. I will go ahead and leave a link to this very set on my in the description box below. Like I said at the beginning, I do have an affiliate link for this, but it does not cost you any extra money to click on that link. I just get a small commission for from anybody that purchases something. So I hope you have enjoyed today's review on the Be Crafty Crochet Hook Set. Have you ever tried this hook set before? What are your thoughts on it? Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me. And as always, if there's ever a video that you would like to see me make, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. Thanks everyone and have a great day. Bye.